Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Do you agree, Janelle? Oh, absolutely. When I think about the five love languages, my number one is physical touch. Yeah. And, and I'm not talking about, you know, in a, in a sexual manner. No, no. Just um, touch, but, yeah. Yeah. So that, that to me is very uh, reassuring and it makes me feel uh, needed and valued and wanted. And those things are very important to me. I mean, that just, that, that, you know, that reminds me of one of my friends. I'm not joking. This is a true story. You know, she, um, she, you know, like holding hands in public, she, she couldn't do it. And, and the guy is the kind, it's so funny. The guy was the one that wanted to hold hands, like, you know, hold his wife and hold that. And she like, you know, like for her, that was too, <laughs> that was too much for, for, you know, like outside in public. So even holding her, like holding hands, kissing, like she just, just okay. uh, yeah, no, she wouldn't want to do Aww. that. No, so no, I, and I and I love those things. I, a girl, please. I know. I, I crave for that. Me too. <laughs> oh my goodness! I want you to tell the whole world. I want people to know that. I mean, if you're not doing it, then you're suspect. I'm wondering why aren't you doing it? And then she why, said, "What is wrong? Who's looking?" You know. Exactly. No. So, but the funny thing was that she said in the bedroom everything was fine, but just like he just he just had this constant need to like hold her, you know, in, in outside, and she'd be like, you could see her like. Leave me alone, like doing like leave me alone. <laughs> like leave me alone. Like, he will come and you know, and she'd be like, you know, you could see the face like, you know what? What? <laughs> God used to it because the guy didn't give up, you know. And so she was like, it took her a while to really get used to being held in public like that. That the guy was so it, like he he wanted to touch her all the time and she just wasn't in that kind of relationship. So I guess, uh, but she, she finally got used to it. And so now, now she, when he does that, she, she, I mean, she kind of, you can see her kind of like, but she's, she kind of goes along with it. <laughs> yeah. A lot of women crave that. A lot of women want that validation. It's not everybody yeah. though. Some people are just like, mm. well, she probably didn't grow up in a home like that. Yeah, yeah probably not. People expressed, you know, I mean, but that's true. People... Oh God, please hold my yeah. hands, kiss me, <laughs> tug at my hair, slap me on the butt. I don't care. <laughs> I'm playful, you know. Yeah. I would love that. Mm-hmm. I would love that. Yeah. So, yeah. You you agree, Janae? She's smiling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because you want to be, you want to feel special, you know. You want to, you know, know that you're. Your yeah, guy loves you. You you want to know that when you walk in the room, his eyes light up. Nice. You know? So those things are important. Yeah. You want to know whenever you walk in the room, his his eyes light up. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Going back to the story. No, we don't all get that, but <laughs> we try <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I've been in a relationship. Oh my God, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wasn't good at um, PDA. He was not. Mm. And he'd say, I'm trying. Yeah, he didn't get it. And that part, I like romance. Me too. Yes, you do. I, I, oh my God, she's like, you're I, I, I love That's romantic. That's what I you am. I am. <laughs> I, I am so. I love romance, you know, I, I do. And so for me, that was something I had to start teaching. Like, it's okay to do those things, you know? And it's like, I, I didn't, I don't know. I, I don't know how to, you know? Okay, mm-hmm. you're gonna learn <laughs> because <laughs> you're gonna learn, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. and he made the effort you know um sometimes was like there was one time i do remember oh god so he got me this flowers you know bouquet of flowers and i was what he's like i'm trying i'm is this isn't this one of the romantic things i'm like yeah but then things were already like yeah whatever mm-hmm. <laughs> oh god where do you start from with men Oh yeah, yeah. Hey. I, mean, I just hope like that they don't they, they don't know how to. <laughs> they don't know. They forget birthdays. Yes. They forget anniversary. Okay, that's how important is our dates, dates, anniversaries. Yeah, are, are those important? Oh, very important. I mean, like, I mean, I mean, I know, like, 
Look, I've been in relationship before where some men, they, they don't even remember your birthday. I mean, come on. And then, you know, when is their birthday on the other hand? I, because, you know, because for me, that's really important. I go the extra mile. I do, you know, you, know, you do everything to make sure it's special for them, right? But then when it's your birthday, they don't do anything. And then it's, it's and almost sometimes, Amy, look, look, they think that, you are doing too much. You are, you are trying to be, you know, like you're trying to be the wifey kind of thing when you do things like that. And then they, you know, they kind of read that as you being too serious, you know, I don't know, but, but like being too forward, like you're trying to force your hand. Yeah. Force your hand. And then you are, but for me, like, I just, I, I, you know me, right. I love, I love birthdays. I love anniversaries. Yeah. I, I, look, I, I track, I track everybody's bed better to make sure that I don't forget, you know, because for me, it's that important. I want to call you on your birthday, you know, do things for you on your birthday. But some, I've been in a relationship where the guy thought that I was trying to do something for him on his birthday. He thought I was being, I was trying to force his hand. I wanted to kind of know his family. I wanted to do a party for him. I want, I'm like, no, it's, they are just things important that we do something. But anyhow, but yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's, to me, it's important. I, I love anniversaries. I love celebrating those things. Mm -hmm. Janae, mm -hmm. what about you? Is it big with you? Yes, it is. I was just nodding my head. <laughs> yes, yeah, as, as you were speaking there, it's very important to me as well. And I, again, that, that makes you feel special to know that he too remembers those special days, mm -hmm. remembers mm -hmm. and honors those special days. Yes, it's important. So, um, how important is finance in a relationship? Mm. Does it matter who earns the most money? Should it be the man? Should it be the woman? Are there clear cut rules? What's, what's the deal with that? Mm -hmm. some, some men are so, I'm just, I'm going to call it insecure, honestly, because I've been in a relationship where the man, because you earn more than them, then they're not even willing to like, even go, they don't even want a relationship. They don't, they don't want it. Because in order for them to be men, they have to earn more than you. I don't even understand that. I mean, um, I mean, as a woman now, I mean, now, you know, now in my, you know, in my twenties. Yeah, an old, you know, a mature. You know, like, like me, if, if, I, if I had thought, if I had known what I know now, really, I probably would have been, I would pay more, I would have paid more attention to finances. I did it. I just, um, you know, look, we are trying to marry for love and you want that guy, you think they're going to stay with forever and ever. Uh, but in hindsight, yeah, finance is really important. It is. Mm -hmm. You, can it. you mm -hmm. have to make sure that the person that you are, you are marrying has the ability, if not at that point right there and then, has the ability to be able to, in the future, be the higher earner because I've come to realize that it's important to men. Men don't like the women any more than they do. It affects the relationship. It does. Hmm. It brings a lot of stress into it because then you are the one that's in, you know, like they feel they almost feel like it's, it's not all men. It's not all men. Some some men don't care. But if you look at the more traditional men, like men who are really they, that that matters to them because they want to be the ones in charge of the the household, like they want to be the ones providing. They want to be the ones to, to be able to, you know, I'm taking care of my wife and all of that. That's important to them. And so when you have, when they have a wife who earns more than that, it really, really, it's like almost like emasculating to them. So they don't like it. So, um, and, it's, and it's, there's no way to tell that, you know, if you're married today, that tomorrow that, you know, the guys, you are going to, you know, you're going you to earn more than the guy. You can't tell that. But, but then when that finally happens, it does affect the marriage most times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Security is important. Security is important. Financial security is important. Um, and I think when you enter into um, a situation, as a woman, I know that I want to feel secure. I don't want to have to wonder when I come home, will the lights be out? Or did you pay the mortgage payment? Like, I, I, I can't do that. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm just not going to do that. Mm -hmm. So I would that that's 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 critically important. I need to know that you are financially savvy and responsible. I'm mm -hmm. I'm not doing it. And if I'm going to enter into a situation, it, it's got to be um, a, a leveled up situation. 
uh, you know, it, it needs to be an enhanced situation. I am not going to lower myself for the sake of, of love. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I'm going to live my life abundantly, it means that my partner has to um, at least match me. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So, it, has to be, it has to be level. So, le level. So suppose when you met him and he was financially, you know, doing well and, you know, he looked like, a, you know, like, looked like a good husband. And like, he's going to, like, he was really responsible. And then something happens along the way and then he no longer can provide. Well, I would, I wouldn't say true no fault of his, maybe it, it, someone kind of just gives up and just feels like because you are also earning money, you are also earning, right? And they feel like you can take, up, take care of it. What, what, I mean, what would you do in that kind of situation where the guy just leaves it to you to take up stock after, you know, even though he's, he's done his bit and he did well in the first five years of the marriage. And after that, he just kind of just gives up and just, he doesn't want to do it any longer. And now you are the one in charge. And what do you want? Now you're going to have to do something, baby. <laughs> you're going you to have to do something, love. Now, as long as we are uh, able-bodied, <laughs> yeah, you're going to have Great to do justice, something, sister. my love. <laughs> I love you, but no, boo. If I'm working, you will too, sweetheart. Yeah, no. I'm gonna need, that's, that's part of that leveling up now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on now. Because I am not in the business of just, you know, I'm not your mother, you know. Um, yeah, so you're going to have to meet me. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. So at this point, um, um, so my question is, does it matter? Well, I guess you've kind of answered it. I think Jenna has been pretty much um, clear cut about hers. Um, so this, okay, no, just to piggyback off what you said, Janair, so he's going to have to do something, I get that, but what if what he's doing is not, you still end up being, and earning more, will it matter? I think that's what Anita is asking, like, okay, maybe he's doing something, it's not just staying home and just getting fat on the couch, but mm -hmm. he's also trying to be, yeah. the to be, but it's not up to what you're making, does it matter? Sure. Sure. Well, I think you said it right there. He's trying, you know, yeah. so maybe if, if maybe he's not doing what he was doing when we first met, maybe he lost that job. Those things happen. That's a life thing sometimes. Uh, but if he's trying, I'm good with that. I think, you know, that kind of goes back to the uh, conversation we were having earlier about the whole um, physical part of a, a marriage. If there's some, you know, uh, ailment that happens that can't be helped you know that that's part of the give and take the for better or the for worse of, of a marriage piece so same with the job situation maybe you're not bringing in the six figures like you were when we first met but as long as you are not just sitting at home watching netflix while i'm working then we're good if you really are trying and it's an honest try and you're trying to contribute to the household and to the family um then i'm good with that but I am not in the business of, you know, working so you can sit and eat the groceries while I'm working. Not happening. <laughs> not happening. Okay. That's Thank really cute. That's <laughs> cute in our 20s, but um, at this point in my life, I only have one child. She's a daughter, and she's the only one that I will, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking care of anyone else for that matter. I'm not like that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think, you know, and, and I know sometimes, you know, like when you're in that kind of a relationship, like like the one you just said, where the guy is, is, is sitting eating all the groceries, sometimes you know, we want to be protected. Eating the groceries. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I think you want to be protected for that. You know, like you try not to let people know what's happening in your house. Oh, she didn't fat off the groceries. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, you're trying to see, you know, you're thinking, oh, he's going to come out of it and, you know, it's going to get, you know, he, you know he's going to come out of it, right? So you're kind of hiding all of that situation because you don't want people to know what's happening in the household. You know, and then, um, you know, so I, I don't know, I'm just saying that, so, so you, you feel that you, because you're married and you want to kind of try to make sure it works out for you and then you're doing all of that. 
And then, and then at the end of the day, people are going to say, okay, but why were you even hiding in the first place? Maybe you shouldn't have given it, uh, you know, like maybe you should have made it more open so that you know, he could, uh, people could kind of advise him and maybe step into like, you know, um, you know, see what's wrong and helping, you know, get a job. I mean, what, I mean, should, 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 should a woman try to keep quiet about things like that in, in her marriage? Or, or is that something that you want to, to show and let people know, like, from day one that something is wrong? So, in essence, what you're saying is, if he, for whatever reason, is not pulling up himself by his whatever, you know, like, is not trying to bring something to the table. You're saying sometimes women tend to, uh, would cover a man's shame. Yeah, right? I mean, you do, because you so, are hoping that it's, it's going to improve, right? You, you, you don't think that it's going to be something that's, you know, like, okay, it's going through a phase or something is wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, get out of it. So you kind of keep quiet, you know, you, know, you just keep doing what you're doing. Um, hoping that he's going to change and he's going to find a job and, you know, start doing what he's supposed to do. So, so your question is, should you immediately tackle it when it happens? Like, yeah. let people know, don't try to cover his shape. I don't know. Well, Janelle, what do you think? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. You know, I, I, I am one who believes in therapy, right? Mm -hmm. So I would be one to say, hey, let's, let's go see someone. Let's go to a therapist. Let's go to a counselor. Let's talk this through, walk this through and unpack it, right? Uh, because sometimes you do need a mediator to make sure that both of you are being understood. And if you can get someone who is, um, you know, an unbiased party to enter in and make sure that everything is clear, um, I think something like that could, could help it. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm answering the question. But in cases like this, I think a mediator would be um, critical. I just feel like some. I just feel like it's really uh, because sometimes you think you are doing something that if you feel like in a marriage, you think you're okay. I'm really trying to make sure this marriage is successful, and you kind of do things thinking that you're doing the right thing. And I, I you know, it's, I guess it's it's for us to recognize at what point you need to stop doing what you're doing, right? And at what point do you need to cut off? You know, you know enabling. And. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Call it out, I guess. Yeah, enabling. At what point do you stop? It becomes enabling now. Yeah, at it what point? It becomes like a codependency. Mm -hmm. It becomes like, you know what? I've, 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 I've been here and I've, you know, like tried to understand, but now it's turned into being lazy, you mm -hmm. know, and taking advantage of the situation because, again, this isn't how we came in, right? Mm -hmm. So um, do you think, okay, you know, just to piggyback off that, is it possible? And that's why I asked the question, do you think men get intimidated by successful women? Is it possible that he's a passive aggressive type thing? Like, oh, well, she's making all that money. Um, why do I have to pull my weight? Or does it just emasculate him that no matter what he tried, he's never going to match up? Mm -hmm. No, that's why I was saying that it's important. You remember I said that at the beginning, I said because I've, I've come to find out that, you know, true friends and all that things that, that those kind of situations where the woman ends up making more money, it just ends up being, the men can't handle it. I don't know why. Uh, it just ends up being a bad situation where, you know, it's, it's you know, like we've heard stories, I mean, you know, right, of, 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 of men who, whose wives end so much and they're not, they're the ones paying the bills and they, they resent it. It's them. It it makes them. Them. And then, you know, we've had, come, we've heard about cases of where men have killed their wives. Remember, because, you know, they felt women were the ones who've been fighting each other the finances and they were not letting them, you know, like just crazy things are happening. So I don't know. I'm just wary of those kind of situations. Um, I, I don't know if that's, you know, just some men just cannot handle it. They can't. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. end up being, I've, I've seen people who have died because um, they, 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 they were earning, the women were earning more than they were, they were earning and became jealous of the situation and they become angry with the wives and they feel that they are being controlled because they are paying the bills. Mm -hmm. It's become an issue where it, it becomes so bad that people have died. People have died from those kind of relationship where it becomes so bad there's argument on home um you know you're not putting the money has to suspect every time yeah. you know, if so, something 
going on. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's odd. Really I, mean, I have seen situations. I mean, I hear you because I'm saying to myself, so, so should we then be watchful? So once she's, I mean, she, if we are not doing better than the man, should I then pull back and, and not do, you know, like, you know, that's what I'm saying. So what do you then do in a situation like that where, you know, you are doing better than the person, you know, that you, you when you initially met them and then it just becomes such a bad situation that, that it's, it's, you know, it's out of your control really because the, the guy can't handle it. Mm -hmm. Just can't. Mm -hmm. well, do, do you stop growing, Jenea? Do you stop growing? Do you stop? I mean, what do you do? You you clearly you can find that actually this is happening. Um, there are people I know that it's happened to. You know, so what do you then do when you find that you're making money, you're being successful, is now being is being turned around to start hurting your relationship? You know, do you do you stop growing? Do you stop taking jobs? Do you stop? accepting promotions you stop earning money what do you do no i am not going to stay and exist in a situation like that that's unhealthy and so i would say leave and and i know that's pretty brash um I, that that wouldn't work for me if i have to stifle myself so that you feel comfortable that's a problem uh, I mean, in, in a healthy situation, you want each other to grow. You want each other to excel. Um, yeah. You want to be a power couple together in every way, uh, you know, spiritually, financially, you know, socially. I mean, in all ways, you want to, to enhance. And so for someone who, who, you know, desires openly or secretly that you would stifle your success to make them feel more comfortable... Uh, no, you go be well and prosper. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, I, I and that makes sense, you know, because if someone loves you, they really should support you. Absolutely. You know, someone may, they should support you. He should be comfortable in his skin, you know, for want of a better word. He should be comfortable in whatever, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. your, your success, you being in a partnership with him is both of your you know, it's the two of you, you know. But I hear what Anita is saying, though. Not all men, especially men who, usually those are men with low self-esteem. There's something yeah. going on, you know, that their identity is tied to their finance, you know. Either, I mean, there's so many men who will take a back seat just so their women can can fly, you know, mm -hmm. can can be successful. So, yeah, he, he would need to take care of himself. Mm -hmm. And I don't think anyone should be made to feel small or inadequate or to stifle their own growth and well-being just because you're trying to make somebody else feel better. Mm -hmm. It might not even make him feel better. Right. You see what I'm right. saying? So. I, remember, I actually remember a friend, you know, like this is a long time ago. I'm not like this, this, uh, this woman, like if they go out, like, you know, they were actually very successful, but she was more successful than, than the man was. And when they were invited, invited to go out like to parties and things, she would come and tell you, like if, if you wanted to like, you know how you want to kind of make, uh, maybe she, she gave a donation to like, oh, don't say it's me. <laughs> say, it's my, say it's my husband that gave the donation because she, she, didn't, she, wasn't, she didn't want to draw attention to herself. She wanted to just say, you know, say, make, say it's him, you know, by introducing him, you know, you know, kind of just hype him up, you know, say, you know, kind of praise, don't, just don't, don't call me who I am, just, just call him, like, you know, praise him more, like, you know, like, hype him, you know, make him seem like, seem like he's, he's, he's a big guy. Man on campus. She was the one that was the big money maker. So, but can you imagine that doing that? So you can imagine, I mean, I mean, I just think, I just think about what the dynamics would have been is that the guy probably didn't, was not too happy with would have been that successful so that she has to come out and tell you in an event that don't 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 introduce me as the big time person to this name and make other donations show under his name you know like that's what i'm talking about things like that where you have to do that extra step just to make sure the guy feels happy you know and and just feels like he's the person that's supporting the family mm -hmm. different dynamics you know, to each his own. So I, I totally get it. We're probably, again, um, you've been watching uh, the chat on AMZ TV. And I have my lovely ladies here who don't hold back any punches. They tell it as it is. 
You don't have to work, boy. <laughs> you don't have to work. I like that. You know, I you love have that. To <laughs> hey, you have to do something. You have to do something. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Groceries every day. <laughs> Feed it off the groceries. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, I almost went somewhere with that. But anyway, <laughs> we are um, going to have a part two of this because this is something that it's a lot of women, and I think also it's changing. But I think that the generation before us and the generation before that, uh, women went kind of encouraged to to grow. You know, you had to always be behind your husband and I think that's changing so I would like for us to explore this yeah or in a later you know in a later um episode well alas we have to um come to a conclusion here so again as usual I always ask my ladies what their last word is and um what is your last word I'm going to start with Jenea today what's your last word mm -hmm. you know I want to speak to the younger ladies and I want to encourage them to um, focus on going as far as they can educationally and spiritually. Make that plan for yourself. Go towards that plan. Put systems in place so you can reach those goals. Don't look for a man mm. to save you. Mm. Okay. Disney is just that, Disney. <laughs> so don't look for the horse and the prince. <laughs> yeah. you know, I need you to, to set that in place. And there's, there's so many you know, things on TV that, that really mess that up and have you looking for a man to save the day. So I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking about our, our, our younger mm -hmm. sisters right now. So that, that for whatever reason, is, is something that dropped in me. And I, you know, that's a that's good thing because that's a topic um, we're going to explore um, next week. Um, how important is a woman's money, a woman's mm -hmm. financial security? How mm -hmm. important is that? I mean, I can talk from experience that it's very important. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so yeah. important. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, last word, um, Anita. You know, I really like what Janaya said. I mean, it's, it's really making sure that we as women, you know, we don't, we're not looking for that prince charming to come and save the day and, 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 you know, make everything better. We really need to, you know, like go to school, you know, get those degrees, get the certifications, you know, find a good job, be able to support yourself. God forbid the guy doesn't come along, you're still going to be successful in life, you know? And so, and even if the guy does come along and then something happens and then you have to start, you're still going to be fine. You know, like we cannot depend on that guy to, and of course, we all pray for good marriages, good marriages, and we all pray that you know we'll have you know that marriage that that will last forever, you know. But if it doesn't happen, um, are you going to be okay with your children? You don't want your children ending up in the welfare system or anything like that. Let's take care of ourselves first, and then everything else will come. Will come after. Will come. Mm -hmm. Lovely, lovely, and there you have it. The ladies have said it, and that is true. I am totally, absolutely, completely agreeing with them you've got to have your own money girls okay mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so until the next episode that we're going to raise our glasses sorry guys i have my water today so. me too yes <laughs> and um be safe be kind and um be blessed okay Jenna, yeah. keep, it. Jenna, uh, keep yes. that hard for me girl and you keep, keep those <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. Stay okay, care. take care. Bye. 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 Bye